Well, yesterday was my birthday, and in casual conversation uh, while we were doing the cooking video, I asked Cheryl if uh, we had ever bought an immersion blender, and she said no, we never did. So she went up to uh, the big box store and came home, and she said, I bought you a birthday present. And here's what she bought. Well, if I can find the English side, here's what she bought. This is a Oster hand blender, immersion hand blender. It's a 250 watt model. I went online and I saw several models and uh, several reviews of several models and they all said, don't get one less than 250 watts. Well, Cheryl hadn't seen that video, but she was a good shopper and she brought one home. That was 250 watts. This is um, the Oster. Uh, immersion blender that Cheryl got for me yesterday. Uh, it has already been unboxed. I'm not going to show you how to open a box. Everybody knows how to open a box. See how it works, what we use it for, and let you know what we think of it. This blender comes with a good long cord. Probably six feet. Six foot cord. It also comes with a measuring cup. I don't know if you can see those numbers along here. A measuring cup. Uh, it's plastic. Everything's plastic nowadays. Uh, the top comes off and the business end of the blender is right here. And it's really good. You just put it on there, locks into place, and you're ready to go blending. Now I'm not sure what, um, what you use this for necessarily. I think that you can put the blender down in here and use it this way, but uh, I'm not sure that that's going to be a good thing to do. Okay, well the first thing we're going to try uh, with this blender, using the measuring cup, we've got four of these nice farm fresh brown eggs in here, and we're going to use the stick blender to uh, make scrambled eggs. So let's give it a try. And whips them up very nicely. Well, we made some scrambled eggs and cheese, and you can see that uh, those look really, really good. They're almost done. We'd like them a little bit drier than a lot of people. But some cheddar cheese and those four brown eggs, and a little bit of milk, and we look pretty good. Another thing that you can do is, um, if your recipe calls for tomato sauce, and all you have is diced tomatoes. You can use the stick blender and this nice attachment and make sauce from your diced tomatoes. So that's another option you can have. Another thing we did with the stick blender, we took these jalapeno peppers, boiled them, and uh, used a stick blender to blend up all of the seeds and skins and membranes and uh, collected the juice from them and we use that for spray on our vegetables. It will get rid of the insects. There is another model of this Oster Stick Blender that comes with a attachment that turns it into a mini food processor, but we chose not to get that one. It was about uh, five or six dollars more. I think this, uh, this blender cost about nineteen dollars. But it's been a good uh, blender for us and it does lots of things and if you do a lot of cooking uh, this is a useful thing to have if you do a lot of blending of soups, anything that's hot that you don't want to put in your blender, this is for you. Let's see. Oh, is that upside down? Of course it's upside down. This is right side up. Holy mackerel, this is going to be a goofy video. If this is your first visit to the Cooking for Two channel, we'd love to have you subscribe. You'll learn how to prepare meals for just two people. Meals that are delicious with portions just right for two folks. We'll show you how to save leftovers and make them into a new exciting and delicious meal. 
We show you some great snacks and you'll learn lots of new and fun information about the foods you eat. We'll show you some of the newest food products and we'll also review new kitchen gadgets you might want to consider. And of course, we'll check out and prepare your favorite recipes and show them to the world on the Cooking for Two channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the kitchen.